I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is the disruption of an ecosystem. Disruption of an echo system. Okay, we're going to draw first. So come over here on the left and put a dot. And from that dot, let's put a round circle. Come over here on the left, straight line, curve line in, straight line down, connect. Come back to the left, curve line out, in, connect. On the left, curve line out, in, connect. On the right, little curve line in, out on the left, little curve line in, out on the right. Straight line, curve line, straight line up. One dot, two dots, curve line straight line. If you want to add a little wavy line on the left, wavy line on the right. This is what we call a direct driver. In other words, this is who or what makes the difference of the ecosystem. And for today, we're going to use the direct driver caused by humans. Okay? Now, how does that manifest? We're going to draw curve line, triangle, and then we're just going to write removal of a predator or a species, which is going to unbalance our ecosystem. We're going to draw a curve line, triangle, and let's put a wavy line right across. And right here, straight line, straight line, wavy line, connect, straight line, straight line, wavy line, connect, straight line, straight line, wavy line, connect. Right next to it, we're going to draw one, two straight lines, one, two straight lines, one, two straight lines. Come back over and go zigzag zigzag, zigzag, dot, 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 dot. Okay, this is deforestation. Deforestation. And that is when you take over the habitat of an animal and because it's no longer there, because you've built something else, human, like housing, all of a sudden this changes the ecosystem. Come over here, draw a curve line, triangle, and then I'm going to do curve line, curve line, connect, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. This is pollution. And it can be from cars. Let's put dot, dot, and then a sad face. Dot, dot, sad face. Dot, dot, sad face. And this can be from all kinds of uh, and manufacturing, climate change, cars, nasty stuff. Next, we're going to draw a curve line, triangle, and this is probably the worst that humans do. We're going to draw poachers. We're not going to draw the human. We're going to draw what they come after. And in this one, we're just going to draw curve line, curve line, curve line up and put an X because that is a dead elephant. Okay. Now, so these are the reasons that we can disrupt how we disrupt an ecosystem caused by the direct driver by humans. Now, I'm going to do an example of what happened with the wolves in Yellowstone because this is a recent event that went down in our country or in the United States. Start over here, put a dot, let's draw our direct driver. Circle, straight line, curve line, straight line up. Let's draw a straight line, curve line, straight line down. Curve line out, in, out, in, 
little curve line, little curve line, dot, dot, curve line, and a straight line. Okay. In the Yellowstone area, there were ranchers who were very upset, farmers also, but mainly ranchers. So we're going to draw a curve line, straight line, straight line up, curve line, curve line. Let's put curve line in, out, curve line in, out, wavy line, dot, dot, little black line. Okay. So what was happening was the ranchers near Yellowstone and some also were farmers were upset because straight line triangle the wolves, the gray wolf which is a curved line, diagonal, straight line diagonal, straight line wavy, wavy, up, connect curved line, straight diagonal, curved line dot, dot the wolves, the gray wolves, were eating their livestock. So baby lambs and cows and everything else was getting eaten. The farmers, as the direct driver, said, okay, get rid of the wolves, which they did. They trapped them, they killed them, they moved them, straight line with a triangle. So what did that happen to the ecosystem in Yellowstone? Well, first off, straight line, curve line, straight line, little curve line, curve line in, out, curve line in, out, straight line, curve line, curve line, straight line, curve line, curve line, little curve line, dot, dot. Okay, so what happened? Once they got rid of the wolves, which was really the predator, top predator of the ecosystem, all of a sudden, all the elk and the deer populations, because they were no longer food for the wolves, booms. So now, the whole area is run over by elk and deer. What did that do? Come over here on the right, draw me a wavy line. One, two straight lines. One, two, one straight lines. Wavy, 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 wavy line, wavy, wavy line again, one, two, one, one, two, one. So what did that do? It caused erosion, and it messed up the riverbanks, and totally goofed up the entire ecosystem in Yellowstone. So what did they have to do? Because they knew they goofed up, they had to... Curve line, straight line, straight line, curve line, straight line, wavy, wavy, curve line, dot, dot. They had to reintroduce, I'm just going to put reintro, the wolves in order to balance the ecosystem. You can't take a species or a predator out of the whole cycle and expect things not to happen, which is exactly what happened in Yellowstone. Thank goodness they caught it in time. All right, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, this is what I call a pictograph, which is a way of saying if you can look at the pictures and figure out the story, you've done it correctly. So first I'm going to color in my ranchers and my farmers hats. Okay. Next, I'm going to give them a little face color. If you have multicultural crayons, I think this is apricot. So I'm going to color these all in. Now, the farmers and the ranchers, they're not bad people. It's just they didn't understand the science and the delicacy of the ecosystem that they were dealing with. So I'm going to take my red and do all of my triangles. There's a, a lot of examples of direct drivers by the humans coming in and goofing up the whole entire ecosystem of a uh, environment. Alright, my pollution I'm doing gray. My dead elephant I'm doing gray. And my wolves, I'm doing gray. Okay. 
And here's my other little wolf. Come back in down here and do your red triangles, which helps moves your eye visually, but also helps tell you the story. Okay? Now, I'm going to take my regular brown and I'm going to do my tree trunks. Now, this is a real big problem in some third world countries, also here. And what happens is, is that the humans move into the area. This is green. Cut down all of everything. And then wonder why they've got bears coming down from the mountains, taking a bath in their pools. And, you know, we have to share where we are. Come down here. This is very important because of the... It's not the animal's fault that they all of a sudden are eating everything in sight. That's what happened to the elk and the deer. Let's do their ears brown. A little bit of brown down here. Give them a black nose. Because basically they're animals. They're doing what they, what they do. Now, you wouldn't think, but this also affected the rivers, the waterways. When you take one thing out of the mix, it totally goofs up the rest of the mix. And, and in this situation, like I said, they caught it in time, but um, they had to totally reintroduce the species, the predator that they took out of the ecosystem. All right, I'm going to color this in brown. I think that's all. You don't have to do too much color because the important part is the actual physical drawings. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my finished pictograph on the disruption of an ecosystem. It would be interesting to find other examples. I used the wolves in Yellowstone, but if you Google it, you will see many, many examples of how humans get in the way of an ecosystem. Okay, bye-bye.